Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about happiness and economics. We all have unlimited, inexhaustible desires. More equals better. But sometimes getting paid nothing for doing something can make us、uh, feel happier than getting paid.、Uh, for example,、uh, you go to your friend's party and you bake a cake for them. After they finish the cake, they offer you some money. All the happiness that you have for offering free help. Suddenly disappeared. There's a correlation between greater income and greater happiness across cultures, but more money has diminishing returns when it comes to our day-to-day -day happiness. For example, a cook can make a million dollars per month, and another cook can make seven thousand dollars per month,、uh, and they both join a contest and win、uh, fifty thousand dollars. For the first cook. Uh, fifty thousand dollars is not that much, but the for the second cook, fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money, and he will be really happy about that. Recent studies shows that economic choices and circumstances can have lasting effects on just how happy we are. Unemployment can make people sad. Negative effects of unemployment are greater in relatively high-income countries. Unemployment makes people worry about their futures. Moving from a part-time job to full-time job can make people happier, but happier begin to decline when you are working full-time every day.、Uh, after a while, there's something called reference income hypothesis or ranked income hypothesis. It says that the satisfaction I get from my income and consumption level depends on how I'm doing compared to everyone else around me. Uh, for example, uh, if I make Fifty million dollars a year, and I live around people who make two hundred million dollars per year. I'm not happy. I believe everyone like this would not be happy. But if I live around a neighborhood who people make only a million dollar per year, I would probably be happy. There's something called Easterling paradox. It says that the income level in a country rises. Uh, the average happiness doesn't always follow. One explanation is that we get happiness from our status rather than absolute income. Even everyone get richer, including you. You are not going to be happy because your status doesn't change. Some economists talk about hedonic treadmill. Here's an example: When you first get your girlfriend, you're very happy, but after a while, you guys fight. And he or she becomes annoying, and you break up. After breaking up, you feel sad and you cry. This is basically what this phenomenon is. Some research shows that the paradox is only true for relatively wealthy countries. In low-income countries, people do get happier when GDP rises. Some government focus on GNH, gross national happiness, rather than GDP. Someone even criticizes the government using GDP to see the national income. These are all about the relationship between happiness and、uh, economics. Thanks so much for watching.